Yo, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. And that's right, in this video, I can yell all I want, yeah, because there are no more residential houses around here. I got my freedom back, yeah? <laughs> so anyways, today is May 4th, 2018. I just got here to this place. What outing is it for me today? I haven't even checked. Everything today is gonna be very chilled, folks. So today is my 54th outing of this year. And you know, I'm still sick. I don't know if you guys heard about it. Maybe you follow me on Instagram, you follow me on Snapchat, you know all about it. I have been sick, you know, I mean, I was born sick, right, mentally speaking. No, I'm just, I'm just messing. I got the flu and recently I just have been having a really hard time with the sneezing and the runny nose when my body temperature changes, right? Like right now with the little wind that is coming. Oh man, my, the sweat's getting cold. You know that feeling. So I'm not in my top condition. Taking all of that in consideration, I thought today would be a great day to just come out here and just relax, chill, fish for whatever bites. This is what we're going to do today. Multi-species fishing, fishing for whatever bites. We're going to see how many species of fish we can catch today. Uh, as you guys saw in the last video, the crappie are spawning and there are crappie over here. So I would like to catch a trophy crappie if possible in the range of 12, 13, 14 inches or maybe even above that. But you know, bottom line is I will be happy with whatever we catch today. So I got my ultralight set up with me, all right? My trusted cast king, Calamus, <laughs> all right? With my Shimano Sedona 500 FD, cast king floral coat, four pound test line. And we got the Aero Tackle B-Vibe, same lure that I used in the previous video on a 164 ounce trout magnet. This is perfect for multi-species, right? Resembles a little fish, micro paddle tail. We just gotta roll with it and see what comes, you know? A very relaxed type of day. Gotta hail a little bit, just enjoy the outdoors. And I hope you guys enjoy this video, okay? Stay tuned. Is that a trophy crappie? Nah, that is just a regular crappie. Regular crappie! No, I don't want no regular crappie. This is about, what, eight inches? Yeah, this is, let, let's see, let's see. Measure from the tip of my hand. Yeah, this is eight inches on the dot, yeah? Good eating size. B-Vibe, okay? It's spawning right around here. But today we're going for a 14, 15, 16 incher, hopefully, yeah? What is that? Wow, you've got to be kidding me. This has got to be one of the most greedy ever pumpkin seed that I have ever seen in my life. Wow. Wow, it went away just like that. Second species of the day on this place. Is the water high enough for people to fish the nap? The water is not high enough. That means that there shouldn't be anything in here, but you never know. Oh, fish on. Like I said, you never know. Holy cow. What is that? This is a pretty nice fish too. Is that a large mouth? No way. It's a bowhead. What? What, son? What? What, son? A brown bowhead on the, <laughs> on the Aero Tackle B vibe. You've got to be kidding me, dude. Wow, a catfish on the jig, on, on the mouth, on the mouth, not snagged, super aggressive. Well, all right, that was one lucky bowhead. <laughs> Before I took a photo with my camera, man, the release today is always sloppy. Before I took a photo with my camera, that bowhead just got out of the jig and went back by itself, yeah? That's very interesting, though. 
Well, this is definitely uh, very interesting. Three species, three different species of fish in this video so far. I mean, I come out here to try <laughs> to try to catch a trophy crappie and uh, it turns out to be a multi-species session. No trophy crappie yet. As a matter of fact, so far today, I have only caught one crappie. So I have, I've, I've been having a little bit of a hard time finding the spawning crappie, right? I stopped by this little pond over here because I thought, hey man, you know what? You just never know what may be in it. Casting the B-Vibe, man, first cast, that catfish just nailed the B-Vibe. Like on the drop, you know? It was so aggressive, that fish. But anyways, our quest for the monster crappie continues. I still gotta cover a lot of water and hopefully we're gonna find the spawning crappie and catch some nice 12, 13, 14 inches plus crappie, all right? I didn't even notice that. There's a turtle there. Look at that. Little turtle just chilling there. Never saw that type of turtle too, I think. Man, the fact that we only caught one crappie today. Fishon is a little bit disturbing. That's a nice crappie. No, wait, that's not a crappie. What is that? That's a bass, man. That's a bass. No, no, I mean, okay, okay, I'll take it, I'll take it, yeah, I'll take it. But uh, bass is definitely not what we were targeting today, though. Yeah, we were targeting the crappie, son, the crappie. But all right, I'll take a little, I'll take a little large mouth bass. The species number four of the day turning out to be a multi-species type of day. Yeah, that's prime, folks. Yeah, folks, that's prime. Today is the good day of the good releases, yeah? I placed the fish in the water to, second, uh, to, to set up the second camera, right? Because I wanted you guys to have a nice view of the release, you know? Get a look at the largemouth bass, the green fish that everyone loves. So I just put the fish in the water in here and apparently I gave it a little bit too much line and look at all this junk that came up on my line, man. The fish just got unhooked. <laughs> Lucky bass, you know? He really didn't want to be on YouTube, right? So there we go. Oh my goodness. First the pumpkin seed, no photo. Then the brown bow head, no photo. And now the large mouth bass. Four species, but no photos, no photos today whatsoever. But anyways, it is turning out to be a beautiful day of multi-species fishing. I, I can't complain. Four species in one day is already very, very good. We will still continue searching for the crappie. And I mean, whatever happens, happens, you know? B-Vibe is working well, that's all it matters. Oh, fish on. What is that? Fifth species of the day. Son, we catching everything out here. Just not a crappie. Now we got a bluegill. No, 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 bluegill. We gotta take a photo of you before I put you back. Okay, let me put the B-Vibe out here. Oh man, just like that. This is gonna be the first good release of the, <laughs> of the day. Good release of the day, okay? Yes, that's how it should be. Let's keep it that way. Oh dude, this looks prime for, for crappy, dude. That's a crappie, right? That's a crappie. That's a white, what? That's a, that's another species for today, man. That's a white perch. It's species number, it's species number six. It's species number six of the day. I cannot believe this, folks. I cannot believe this. I don't know about the trophy crappie, but multi-species is on fire today. <laughs> this is so funny. I thought it was just a very, very tiny Michael Crappy. Never thought it was a Moroni Americana. Yeah, a little white perch. That's beautiful. That's right, folks. Beautiful fish. Is that the blueback herring? Yeah, I think that's the blueback herring. Oh man, the blueback herring are here. Look at that. 
four blueback herring right over here spawning is strong look at that all the love six of them right there look at that oh all the love folks good stuff yes keep laying eggs all right circling around right over here man going strong going strong whoa yes get her get her boy oh was that a hit was that a snag have me a snag because it's so shallow oh no that's a hit that's a hit for a pumpkin seed that's one of the species we didn't get a photo of today so perfect opportunity yeah it's time to redeem ourselves let's get a photo of the pumpkin seed now that is awesome we're finally starting to redeem ourselves here <laughs> we need a few more shots if it is like that but not bad not bad Fish on. Oh, a bass. Another bass. On the, on the B vibe. Redeem ourselves. That's what we're doing right now. I didn't get a photo of the other bass, did I? So, this one will serve as a nice. Oh, this one is stunted, boys. Very skinny, is stunted. Got an old injury on it, too. This is an ugly bass. But let's take a shot and release it. Let me tell you, there's something going on with this bass. You guys see this injury over here? This is crazy, man. It's like the flesh is exposed or something. This bass already got some melanoma right over here. Add that injury. Ugh, this is one nasty bass that probably has been through a lot. Wow. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> that is definitely not the trophy crappie that we are looking for. As a matter of fact, this is a perfect fish tank black crappie. Goodness gracious, this is a baby, a baby crappie, man. I, I can't leave this baby crappie in this pond right here. We gotta throw it in the main, in the main lake, yeah? It's your lucky day, baby crappie. You got to maybe grow up beautiful and be a big crappie in the future. Fish on. Fish on, folks. What is that? Are we going to redeem ourselves? Is that a bowhead? I think that's a bowhead. <laughs> I gave it a little... No! No! We were going to redeem ourselves. No, that was the last one that I needed for a photo. I gave it a little bit of time and I came back here and I thought, you know what? Maybe we're going to get another bowhead, right? Since the bowhead are so aggressive. That was a bowhead on the B vibe, but it got unhooked. Oh, man. Hey, it's just a big bluegill. Just a big bluegill. Pretty nice size too. But yeah, we got this one today already. Man, inhaled. Oh, hell no you don't. Oh, ah, look what you did. Well, let me release you first. This fish always like to give me a hard time. I gotta go get it. Aye, 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 folks. I just lost a nice large mouth bass right over here. I think... I don't know if you guys hear it or not. The blueback herring are spawning around this area. The Alosa Aestivalis. I think that bass was just laying there, you know, ready to whack a blueback herring. But anyways, I've been fishing for about three, three and a half hours now. I I'm done for the day. I'm still sick. I've been sick the whole day. But you know what? This is the type of fishing session that I really like to do. I mean, don't take me wrong. I don't mean me being sick, right? I mean just tying on a small fishing lure, right? And just going out there and catching whatever bites. I mean, today we finished with like, what? Six species of fish. 
uh, the bluegill, Lepomis macrocutus, pumpkin seed, Lepomis gibosus, largemouth bass, Micropterus salmoides, white perch, Morone americana, what else? Brown bowhead, Ameurus nebulosus, that's the one that I didn't really get the photo, and the black crappie, right? The Pomoxis nigromaculatus. And if you guys have never done this kind of stuff before, I encourage it, you know, just get a little lure. This one works just fine for multi-species, resembles a little fish, and just cover a lot of water. Keep casting, and you never know, you really never know what you are going to land. That brown bowhead in this video, prime example. If it was only one brown bowhead, I would have told you guys, uh, it's just luck, you know, you cast it there, brown bowhead saw the lure, but I lost two in this video, right? So that is no longer luck. The bottom line is when you are a multi-species angler or a live lister, you just go out there with your ultralight setup, a small lure, the fight feels great. There's the element of surprise. You never know what you're gonna catch. And sometimes, who knows, you may even catch a monster on your ultralight setup, right? Today, the trophy <laughs> crappy didn't really happen. I had a real hard time finding this spawning crappy as a matter of fact but that is a topic for another video thank you very much for watching folks truly appreciate it time for me to go back home and you know recover a little bit i'll see you guys next time take it easy and fish on